Hey, what's up, Minecraft tonight? Welcome to the Minecraft Monday Show, where each week I cover everything that went on in Mojang this week, your community, and everything that's awesome coming up that you can expect. I am your host, Bebop Box, and even this week, I have some Mojang giveaways for you guys, some very cool stuff. But first up, your Mojang news. Now, if this is your first Minecraft Monday Show, welcome! And if you haven't seen the previous ones, well, you're missing out on a lot, because last week, Notch talked about the new space game, and we started seeing lots of new detail on it. So what's going on with this new space game that Notch is working on? Well, we already know that it's going to have a CPU in the game, and also it's going to have an emulator. He even just got some code from a friend to help with that emulator. Pretty cool stuff. He's even already started taking care of the trademark issues so they don't run into another Scrolls event. Probably because he wants to name it Mass Effect or EVE Online. But nonetheless, he already got the trademark, so we're all set. We don't have to hear any more stories about that. We even already got an image from this game. This is him working out the bugs. Well, the current bug that he's having an issue with. On Twitter news, Marcus Passion was talking about how their kindness of Mojang was being taken advantage of. It just ended up being a miscommunication in the end, but we found that out many, many hours later. In the meantime, Reddit completely blew up. He even made the front page of Reddit and so much speculation within the comments, it was really just a waste of time. So it's great to see Mojang wanting to keep to the roots and still be a kind company. Oh, Reddit, you so silly. And I've been following the new Mojang office for you guys, and well, how big is it? It's pretty insanely big, that's all I gotta say. Proper room for a nerf gun battle. And if you don't have any Minecraft swag, I'm not getting sponsored, I'm just showing you guys what's up. Jinx has a whole bunch of new goodies out. They have new sets of mob stickers, two types. Also male and female creeper demolition themed shirts. Also male and female Japanese creeper kawaii t-shirts. And if you have the creeper vinyl, well, now there's a new type of one. This does have an adjustable head on a ball joint and a movable feet. Also a creeper wallet and a creeper scarf. And if you want to get a whole bunch of things at once and save just a little bit of money, you can get a mega bundle with posters, a shirt, and lanyard. And as always, I love to cover charity, especially since Mojang loves supporting them so much. Well, Team Fortress 2 style again. They're going to be doing a charity this spring. No date yet, but keep posted. Where Notch could possibly be matched up with people like the Yogg's cast or Freddy W, Captain Sparkles, and a ton more. Be sure to keep posted on TeamFortress2Mixup.com. This week we also have a Minecraft update. That's right, it's not a snapshot, it's a proper update that was pushed right to the client. While Jeb was in Vegas and most of Mojang were at the GDC conference, well, Bucket were hard at work beating out some bugs and maybe creating some new ones. But we have our 1.2.4 update now. Also, if you like the most in-depth, detailed video about it, I of course do one each week when there is a new snapshot. You can also see that at the end of the show. But if you want a synopsis, here's a quick rundown. Well, the Bucket team started having some fun and Dinnerbone now made cats more realistic by letting them sit on your bed and your chest and and your crafting table, so they render them unusable. However, you still can't use the bed, so you can sleep with your cat. Awkward. I agree though, because they're making cats proper annoying, you know, because they are. However, Bucket has also added some of the common things that we see with plugins such as Hero Chat. You can now scroll up in chat, and by pressing the up key, you can select previous things that you've said to repeat them. You can even copy and paste links in game and click links to use them. They will give you a warning, never click links by people you don't trust. And this is something you're going to see spammers abuse, but overall, this is a great move. Item wise, those hieroglyphic sandstone blocks that we've seen on the texture sheet for so long, well, now you can craft them. They have a creeper face style and a flat smooth stone style. We also have the item outlines that are back in the profile menu. This is great for noobs that don't know where armor goes. And each tree now has its own colored plank of wood. So there's four types. And ghosting TNT is gone in single player, but it's still around in multiplayer. So what else would you like to see in the next big Mojang update? Well, Gens was also asked if he would like to see more of a correlation between cooking and farming. He responded with he loves farming, but he has to take care of a lot of boring code right now. He also said 1.2.4 should be the last update before 1.3. We'll see how long they keep to that, because when they release 1.3, they want the server side of the mod API to be ready. That's of course a lot of work, so best of luck to you guys. Alright, that was it for you Mojang and Minecraft news, but now it's time for me to support you guys within the community. First up, with your videos. Alright, now this one I couldn't pass up because it was on the front page of Reddit even. A scientific calculator. I was bad enough at math in school, but this guy created a complete 14 function scientific calculator. It can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And it also use functions like log, sin, con, tan, and square root. Graphing wise, it can do graphs, linear, and quadratics. Ah, I hate those equations. Ah, they were just the worst in school. But can you bring this to the classroom? I don't know. Ask Minecraft teacher, maybe he'll know. And your next video is a... Uh, it's a very creepy animation. And the voice actor does a great job, but... 
Ugh, I'll just leave it at that. It's really creepy. Ah, light! Your third video here, this fairly new machinima artist has a clever video about how endermen like fish. With good storytelling and well-timed events, he almost makes you feel sorry for the ocelot. That's it for your videos! Now your mod this week, it's an extra biomes mod. If you ever want extra biomes, this kind of overkills it. It adds 28 new biomes, 10 new trees, 9 grasses, and 20 new blocks altogether. Biomes include autumn wood, forest island, glacier, redwood forest, and a savanna. Just some of them. You can even add extra biomes as you desire, like a flowery field or majestic forest, or just a wheat field. So random. All right, now your texture pack this week is called the Her Summer Texture Pack. It's a 64 bit. This also works alongside of Optifine and the MC Patcher. You can see just how detailed this is with the new series called the bash pack now it falls under a rustic pack theme but it still has a really nice cartoony feel to it all even the mobs are pretty lighthearted, uh, except for the villagers they're just plain out creepy strong points though the iron golem and the ui all right guys now it's time for one of your favorite segments well besides when i give you free stuff holy sh did you see that in minecraft this is a segment where everything i talk about is fully downloadable so you can go ahead and put it inside your own world now i'm going to start out with one of the biggest ones that i've ever had yet it's pretty much an entire server and there's tons of great projects on it so feel free to mc edit them out some of these amazing builds include a massive bridge that's on it tons of airships and just a bunch of crazy unique builds even a whole bunch of towns your next one if you like mazes or just annoying everybody on your server there you go and finally i normally don't show off wallpapers but here's three brand new ones now it's time for your seed of the week well this seed is a whole bunch of numbers and Pretty cool stuff. Right at spawn alone, you have a huge tremor hole here that is a massive mine. And also close by is this valley of mountains that's just riddled with caves throughout it, all while being surrounded by water. Meanwhile, the entire thing is connected to a luscious snow biome. Not a bad layout for spawn, I'd say. And here's your crafty skin artist this week. We have an Anubis, we have Ragnarok, and we have something called a Thunderbird. Great job on those skins, guys, and all those links are down below for you. All right, now it's time for your favorite segment because this week's contest, I am very happy and honored to give away a original Junk Boy drawing, and it was also painted by Wondercraft. Last week, I had you create a response video, so congratulations, it's annotated here to the winner. Now, like I said, there's only 50 of these, but I was only given a few of them, so here's another one for you. That's right, another original Junk Boy drawing. It was great because last week, not a lot of people joined, so it was a pretty good chance. But this week, what should we do? Well, how about we do a Twitter one this week? There's a link below. Click it and hit retweet by doing this it shows a list of people who have all retweeted it by next week's show i will pick one of you at random i can guarantee you not everybody uses twitter and a better chance to win than people who just comment and subscribe however you do also have to be a subscriber to this show so be sure to subscribe and i'll see you here every week on minecraft mondays and also throughout the week as i create your full detailed snapshot update and feel free to comment below so i still know you're alive such as the creeper bar question of the week me personally, I love the nether and it hasn't had any love in a long time with updates. What is one thing that you would love to see updated in the nether changed or added? And that is it for this week's Minecraft Monday show. I hope you enjoyed. If it's your first time, thank you for watching and please share it with your fellow Minecraft addicts. I will see you next week, throughout the week, and as always, diamonds to you! If you would like to see more behind the scenes, feel free to follow on Facebook and Twitter and well, you'll see just how crazy behind the scenes get. Alright guys, I am your host, Bebop Box, and happy Minecrafting. Thank you.